Ghana is calm but mourning the death of her president, the late John Evans Atta Mills. Some people took a break from work to mourn their leader, but to others it was business as usual, looking for their daily bread. And this was the mood last night at Parliament buildings as the police band belted out dirges. Legislators were donned in black and red as they mourned the departed president. And the power vacuum had to be filled pretty fast after the office of the president had officially announced the death of the incumbent. The late Professor John Atta Mills, a former law professor and a former vice president who took over power after the 2008 general election from John Kufo, died around 2 p.m. local time or about 5 p.m. Kenyan time a few hours after he had been taken ill. After the nation had been informed of the demise of the president, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Madame Joyce Bamford Ado, immediately called an emergency sitting of Parliament, a session that was attended by Supreme Court judges. The Speaker read out Article 66 of the Constitution that stipulates that the Vice President takes over power in case a President dies, resigns or is removed from office on constitutional grounds. Although the same Constitution does not spell out how long the Vice President can serve, but the Speaker made it clear in this particular situation. Of President of the Republic of Ghana to serve the unexpired term of the president with immediate effect. The vice president who was seated on the left side of the speaker was then invited to take both the oath of allegiance to the constitution and oath of office. I, John Dramani Mahama, do in the name of the almighty God swear. Do in the name of the almighty God swear. Traditionally, this sword he held up was to symbolize that he had finally taken over the instruments of power. Ordinary Ghanaians witnessed the swearing in from the public gallery. There was a light moment when the newly sworn in 53-year-old president, a communications expert, bypassed the king's seat, forgetting that he was now Mr. President. In his inaugural speech, he paid tribute to the late president as a personal friend and a leader who had dedicated all his life to serve the people of Ghana with integrity. In tribute to President Atamils, and as an expression of deep sorrow, I have requested that for the next one week all flags should fly at half-mast as we begin this difficult period of national mourning. Coincidentally, the let was called John like him, same to former presidents John Kufour and John Jerry Rawlings, the three Johns following each other in power. So it all happened here at Parliament buildings, that smooth transition. It was so fast, within six hours after the death of President John Atta Mills, a transition that has been described by observers as being symbolic of Ghana's record of peaceful transfer of power. Alex Chamwada for Citizen TV in Accra, Ghana.